Hello, everyone. Welcome to your non-spoiler review for Detective Pikachu. I am Perry Nemroff, and I am so happy to be joined by Christian Robocaba yes. on this particular mm -hmm. review because you have been talking about Detective Pikachu and yeah. your love of Pokemon mm -hmm. for quite a while now. To be fair, it was myself, Cody, and Frank here at Collider Studios. And uh, we've all been, uh, when this movie was kind of first announced, we were like, really? Like, we could, our eyes couldn't have rolled back any further. And then the first trailer came out, and we're like, Damn it, all right, we're in. You're not we're the in. only one who yeah. is in that kind of... But So, just to clarify here the perspectives you're going to get, mm -hmm. you're like, you're a Pokemon pro. Oh, yeah. You, you know your stuff. I know my stuff. I would say I know my stuff from the first three generations. Anything after that, okay. I'm kind of hazy, but I've still dabbled in some of the games. Yeah, there. yeah. I, I played a good deal of the games growing up, particularly the red and the blue mm -hmm. on Game Boy. I was pretty addicted to those. Oh, yeah. And then I played some Pokemon Go, and I'm familiar with the brand. And then mm -hmm. we also went to the screening last night with Haley, who doesn't Haley. know very much. So we had a little bit of everyone in the yeah. mix, but mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure you had two different perspectives going into this Detective Pikachu review. Yeah. So do you want to kick us off from the pro perspective? What'd you yeah. think of it? I liked it a lot. I, I it's, it's crazy that in a world where video game movies are aren't the best, like not even close to somewhat good. This was really enjoyable. Um, I think it, if you look at it from two different ways, like if you look at it as like a fun kids, uh, you know, detective movie, then it, it's 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 really solid. There's obviously some things that kind of like, you know, roll your eyes and some things are kind of laid out there for you. But as a, as a hardcore Pokemon fan, it was hard not to watch this movie and just look at everything in the background because I feel like they got the world so perfect. Like I didn't know anything about this Rhyme City. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's uh, I don't know if it's in the Detective the Pikachu yeah. game because I've never played that game, um, but it felt like a lived-in world, and the way they set that world up was just perfect. It was I beautiful. Wholeheartedly agree with that. That is the best part of Detective Pikachu mm -hmm. is the world building. Yeah. I mean, if I could have watched another five hours of that movie just to live yeah. in Rhyme City and mm -hmm. live in, I mean, even the other parts of that world that yeah. they created, I would have been fine with that. Uh -huh. When it comes to the mystery component, you, it's very kid friendly. Yes. It's very repetitive. Uh -huh. It's a bit light, and mm -hmm. you know, especially after we got that meteor trailer where it hinted at some emotion, I thought it was going to pack a little bit yeah. of a gut punch at the end, which yeah. it didn't, but I kind of didn't care because I was along for the ride and I was so sucked into that world right. they built. Yeah, I was I was thinking they were going to use Ryan Reynolds so much as Pikachu for the kids, but actually I felt like his humor was more towards the adults. I was very impressed by yes. that too. There's it a, was great. <laughs> there's a couple of drug jokes that yes. I got a big kick yeah. out of. Yeah, uh-huh. There's a couple of uh, a couple of jokes that like Justice Smith like does and, and, and Ryan Reynolds kind of calls him out for it. It's like, whoa, okay, kids, that's going to go over kids' heads, but for the adults they're going to enjoy that. Mm -hmm. So it kind of feels like, it almost feels like a lighter Pixar movie, I guess, if you're kind of going on this adventure with them, where Pixar movies are for adults and kids. It's not all the way for kids, but at the end of the day, it is a kids movie. So it's like any kind of complaints that I have about it, I should just kind of like eh, brush mm -hmm. it aside and just enjoy the world. That Like I can go back and rewatch this movie and just be like, oh, there's a there's a squirrel there. There's a, you know there's all these different types of Pokemon that are just in the background. That even are just as flooded. someone coming at it from a Pokemon Light perspective, yeah. I still had that same effect happening yeah. on me. Where it's just I was looking at every which direction, trying mm -hmm. to find as many as I yeah. could, and you know my favorites were scattered all over the place. I can't believe how much more I appreciate Psyduck because of this movie. Oh, Psyduck has been my <laughs> favorite scene Pokemon. Scene stealer. He, he he's been my favorite Pokemon since the beginning, since the show, since in the games. Uh, I remember in the games I, that getting him and then evolving him to Golduck was just like the coolest thing <laughs> and to see him actually play out in this show I mean excuse me in this movie was so perfect and how they treated him and his stress it was just it was wonderful yeah, yeah. it was spot on we were talking about it last night my go to is always Charmander but I love love Psyduck now with the way Psyduck's they use great. him in this movie mm -hmm. but I think it kind of speaks a little to the story that we're given here that we're yeah. pretty much only talking about the Pokemon and right. not the human characters not that anything was like egregiously wrong about no. any of them. I thought Justin Justice Smith was totally fine, yeah. but this is a movie that is putting the spotlight on the Pokemon. That's what's special right. about this, mm -hmm. is seeing them come to life. And I was so, so impressed by the animation. There might have been maybe one or two times where, yeah. you know, his character picks up Pikachu and it looks like a little wonky. But yeah. for the most part, I mean, just the 3D effect, the way that the Pokemon pop off the screen yeah. was so, so impressive. Yeah, they definitely upped the cute factor in all the Pokemon, which I'm fine because I think, like, when it, when it first started off, they didn't really start that way. I think after a while, once 
they kind of realized what they had, they they just made the Pokemon cuter and cuter and cuter just to kind of, you know, so that demographic can like, you know, come in towards, there's not just like boys coming in mm. and playing Pokemon, like everyone can play and enjoy this world. And I definitely think, especially with some particular Pokemon that I don't want to say they're in a movie, that like you just fall in love with over again and it kind of can just uh, appeal to everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, I, I do respect that a lot because they do respect the lore of it in general, that's, which is great. That's one of my favorite qualities in an adaptation because we're constantly talking about, oh, why don't we just have more original things? Why do you keep remaking things mm -hmm. or bringing things to new mediums? It's because it gives you the opportunity to spread the love and yeah. broaden the fan base. And I think that might be one of my favorite qualities of this movie is that I think that's <laughs> what this does. Yeah. For me, I walked out eager to re-download Pokemon Go, yeah, to go yeah. track down my old games, and also mm -hmm. to call up my little cousins and make sure that they are budding Pokemon fans yeah. too. That's that's the other exciting thing too. It's like I, I I feel like Pokemon, the company behind them, are always trying to reinvent it and do new things, which is like scary for the older fans because sometimes we just like how it originally was, but we also understand that it is still at the end of the day for kids, and they have to do something new with it or do something fresh with it, or else it's gonna feel repetitive. And the fact that like this thing is coming out, it's gonna mm -hmm. introduce Pokemon again to an entire generation, just like how Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu did did for like Nintendo fans or even Pokemon Go, how it, that that was like really the the thing that kind of re jump started. Uh, I see, I I think like the fandom of this series overall, and I think this movie is just gonna make things even better because oh, this movie for sure for sure gonna crush like everywhere. And I hope it does because it, it it is a really solid movie. And if you are a Pokemon fan, like I'm, I'm excited to talk with people to to point out so many tiny little things that I don't I don't want to say because they will be spoilers. But um, like especially little Easter eggs here and there that are like like okay they knew what they were doing and that's cool that they did that. I was even getting a kick out of it just walking out of the theater last night and hearing you and Cody talk about <laughs> yeah, that yeah. and also hearing Haley's perspective too yeah. because it really does. I mean I don't want to resort to like a cheesy saying, but mm -hmm. this does seem like it's gonna. Be be a fun for the whole family, yeah, for a sure. fun for all different types of Pokemon fans, whether yeah. you know your stuff or you don't. This seems like the ultimate crowd pleaser, and you know what? That's how you start a film franchise. Yeah, and especially like if you look at the very first Pokemon movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back, like that movie does nothing to explain anything. It's literally a continuation of like the show. Like, so if you know the show, that movie's made for mm -hmm. people that knew the show. This movie does a great little explanation of what this yes. world is, what everything's about, how these things are treated, and that's perfect. Perfect for everyone that don't know anything about the show, anything about the games, and they can go into this movie fresh without knowing anything and, and perfectly enjoy it just the way it is. All right, the time has come. Oh boy, we're we're gonna have to give some scores here out of ten. Mm -hmm. What are you going for? I'm gonna go seven out of ten. Okay, like I, I, it's it's exactly what it needs to be. I got actually a lot more than I thought I would. I thought like because I this is like the only trailer that I've actually seen this year, and like because I just felt like eating everything up, and I thought there was gonna be that thing where like okay, I've seen the trailers, all the beautiful wide shots of all these things in Pokemon. That's all I'm going to see. There was so much more. And then I can't wait to go back and see it and just look at everything else. I'm actually coming in just a little higher than you. I'm Ooh. going with a seven and a half out of Whoa, 10. Harry. I definitely look at the story in this movie. And yeah. I, you know, if I could get my hands on that script, not that anyone should trust me with something like that. Uh -huh. There's there's elements that I would clean up, that yeah. I would take out some of the repetition. I would add a little more meat to the human stories yeah. there yeah. and a little more emotion to that. But when I started to think about it last night on the drive home, I'm like, I... I had a freaking blast. Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. I want to plot myself in the middle of that movie and just like do a 360 and look around for hours. Right. And because they achieved that, I mean, that's that's one of the examples of you can basically, or, or at least for me, I can overlook some story flaws if I'm having so much fun with the world around right. me. And that's what's, that's pretty much what happened here. Yeah. Again, I don't know what happens in the Detective Pikachu game. But there, there are a couple things. They're like, really, they're going that way. Hmm, that's interesting. Like, especially for like a, a Pokemon family, like that's hmm, that's an interesting choice. But again, yeah, you know, I think the story is is a is a nice carrier to get you through everything mm -hmm. because uh, uh, Justice Smith and um, Ryan Reynolds are very likable together. They have a great reputation with each other, and uh, it plays out. And you pretty much just enjoy the ride that they're on. All right, guys, that is our non-spoiler review of Detective Pikachu. We turn it to you. Hit that comment section below. When you see the movie, tell us what you think about it, or you know what, right now, tell us if you're excited to see it. We want to know. For myself and Christian, thank you for watching this video. Please like and share it, and we'll see you soon with more movie reviews. Bye! <laughs>